In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of Git's more useful features, namely Git rebase. So here I have a branch which I've made a few commits. Uh, I started the branch back here when master was, was back on this commit. As you can see, uh, master has moved along since then. So first I want to use git rebase, just the standard git rebase, to move all of my commits over on top of the new master. Uh, during this video, I have the alias G uh, for git because I don't like typing the two extra letters. So I'm going to rebase onto master. It reapplies all my changes and now you can see that all of my changes are on top of master. This is uh, really useful when you have a long-running branch or some patches that you've been working on for quite a while and you want to move them to the front of the history to make sure that your patches still apply cleanly uh, to the master branch um, and that way you, you don't have to worry about merge conflicts uh, for the master when they pull in your changes. Now the next thing I want to do is to use Git's interactive rebase to uh, rearrange some of these commits. These commits uh, are not necessarily in a logical order. I'd like to put them into a better order to communicate uh, the progression through my change set toward the final goal. So to do that, I'm going to uh, give it give uh, the dash i option, which chooses interactive rebase. Now I'm presented with a list of each of my patches or commits which uh, has not been accepted into the master branch. To rearrange my commits, I simply uh, delete a line and put it where I want it. And so I can commute these patches however I want and Git will uh, rearrange them um, the way that, that I've specified here once I uh, save. So here I exit the, the editor it uh, reapplies all my patches and you can see that now the commits are in a different order. So uh, presumably this new order uh, is, a, is a better progression of kind of uh, cleaning things up, documenting, writing tests. Uh, even if I wrote the test after the fact, it's usually better to you know, have the, the test uh, in the repository first. Someone can clearly see that the test fails prior to the commit happening, uh, to the fix happening. Anyway, that's pretty useful. The other thing that you can do with interactive rebase is to completely remove commits that um, you don't want at all. So here I have a commit that deletes a really important file. Turns out that was a bad idea. So I can do an interactive rebase, and any line in here that I delete, um, Git will just throw away that commit. So I just deleted that line, and when I save the file, that commit is gone from my history. Now in this case the commit was just the most recent commit. I could have done a hard reset to throw it away. But if that commit had been buried you know, back here in my branch somewhere, um, it's quite inconvenient to have to uh, remove that one patch using um, a hard reset. So uh, interactive rebase comes to the rescue. I can delete any patch anywhere in my, in my branch. Uh, another really nice feature about Interactive rebase is combining commits. So here I have a commit which fixes the frobnets, and here I have a commit which updates the change log to mention that the frobnets was fixed. Uh, now those two commits really belong together. They should have been a single patch. So I'll go into interactive rebase again. I'll move the change log patch up here next to the original frobnets patch, and then I'm going to choose squash. I could have just typed s also, and that's going to combine these two commits into a single commit and ask me to give it a new commit message. I save that. Here it is. These are my two commit messages. I'm going to stick with the first line. That'll be my um, commit my commit name or brief description. And then I'll just describe that, oh, by the way, I also updated the change log. Now, over here in my visualization, you can see that uh, I have one patch which includes both changes. That's a very useful tool as you um, work on a patch kind of, or work on a change set in the hustle of the moment. You accumulate maybe lots of small little uh, changes, and then you stand back and look at what you wanted and realize that a few of them should have been uh, combined into single logical patches. So that's what I've just done. 
And you can also uh, do the opposite. So I'm going to sort of un manually undo what the change that I just did. To do that, I'll use the edit command. That will apply all of it'll apply all of these earlier changes, and it'll apply the Frobnitz patch, and then it'll stop and give me a chance to edit it. So now it's applied the Frobnitz patch. You can see that it, it's applied right there. I'm going to uh, reset back to the previous commit. Now I have a um, I have a, uh, a git alias CIP that does an interactive commit. Uh, let's me choose patches and then immediately uh, commits. It's like add dash p followed by commit. Um, so I'm going to do that. Whoops. I guess I actually forgot to reset. So I'm going to reset and then I'm going to commit those. So I do want that one. That's the one pretending to be a changelog uh, patch. So I'm going to skip that one. I'll say call this one fix the problems. And then I'll do the next one. Um, mention problems fix in the change log. And now I'll continue the rebase. It's just going to pick up right where I left off and finished editing. And now in our view here, you can see that I have fixed the problems. And then I mentioned the problems in the change log. So that's also really handy. You know, as you step back and look at all of your commits, you realize that one of those commits actually makes two completely independent changes. They should have been separate commits. So it's quite easy in this case to edit that one, no matter how far back in your branch history it was, split it apart into uh, uh, the order that you wanted. Um, the last thing I'll mention um, is just that uh, down here, the uh, rebase has a number of different commands. For example, this uh, fix up command is similar to squash, but it throws away the commit message from the second one. That's pretty useful if down the road you realize that uh, you know a patch that you made four patches ago should have had a minor adjustment. Uh, and you can use fix up to just uh, toss that back where it belonged. You can also use exec to do uh, some more complicated, um, more complicated. Uh, modifications to your history. So I hope that gives you a rough demonstration of some of the, the power, uh, some of the useful features inside of a git rebase. I think uh, it's really just a useful user interface for reordering patches, for modifying patches, regardless of where they are within your commit history. I hope you'll find it a useful tool uh, as you work with git.